Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. New scenery, right? Oh yeah, so exciting. While everybody was out drinking beer and at the lake on Memorial Day in the last few weekends, I've been working my little tail off. Welcome to the 12 volt bunker at the off -grid Mountain Homestead. You have to excuse the audio for now. I just got everything in here uh, set up for a video to give you a little channel update and tell you things are changing up around here. So the audio is, is a little, little off today, but as I get stuff in here, it'll break the sound up. So I apologize if it's a little echoey, but it is what it is. Um, just, just got a little new little setup going on here. Talk about some things, uh, do, do a little different. Yeah, I've been testing all the batteries in the off-grid RV because it's got 20 kilowatts of storage, so I can use it to charge all these test batteries. Well, camping season's here. Um, you know, it's fixing to go out on voyages and things like that, and then guests are coming for the summer to stay and get the true off-grid experience, so filming is done in there. So I got some, uh, some stuff going on here, doing some tests on different batteries. I've got the yeah, everybody's favorite little alpha inverter sitting right there, mounted up as my capacity rig. Uh, breaker, shunt, all that stuff to make testing easier so I can run two batteries at one time. So I can film, you know, a load test for one. And then back to back, I can go ahead and have a capacity test running for another battery right there. So, you know, that's, that's going to be good. That's going to save me some time, be more convenient. Uh, hopefully it's going to present better to you uh, since I won't be on just a, a table. So I got uh, got some equipment behind me, but that's all gonna be revealed in due time. So we're gonna do a 12 volt uh, build cause uh, 12 volts is prepper power. That's right, baby. Trillions, trillions and trillions of 12 volt items out there. Yeah, you gotta have big monster wire. It's a little less efficient, but you know, grid down scenario or SHTF or apocalypse, you know, you can scavenge 12 volt parts from all over the place. You can use automotive parts, big rig parts, all kind of stuff and keep your your 12 volt stuff running go over the whole the whole build of the 12 volt bunker um in an upcoming video once i start working on it uh it's it's busted my budget so far it is uh it has ate me up uh as far as finances go getting this built so yeah it's took me i've got about i don't know how many hours in it now but i built it all by myself um you know concrete board in here i said i'll give you the whole the whole tour shelves uh, a little workbench right there, projects to be done on that shelf. Uh, you know, current projects here, things like that. Of course, you know, I'm doing a dedicated video. We'll have it cleared up, but I've been running this Go Kilowatt for a little while, testing it. And then I uh, got a little XNY series pack right here, 48 volt pack. So messing around with these little batteries, putting them through their paces. So more on that too. Got me a new oscilloscope. Um, been running this little cyclone bat mini right here that's pretty good little battery too it's been holding up well it's testing so look for full videos on that but on to the 12 volt build here's the goals for the 12 volt build um, my current system's 48 volts that one's got some top secret stuff going on so you know we don't see that one uh, but this one you're going to see everything on this one so this is the backup rig because two is one one is none right so this is going to be a 12 volt backup rig um the goals. I originally wanted 75 kilowatts of storage. I'm going to go for 100. 100, 100 kilowatts hours of lithium iron phosphate storage. Got some AGMs and stuff too. We're going to play with that on this uh, this whole system as I build it out. Uh, gonna, I'm shooting for 5,000 watts of PV. Going to run by facials. So that's the ultimate goal, which time and budget, you know, I'm not rich by any means, so I have to do it a little at a time and that's another good thing about 12 volt you can add to it you don't have to buy four batteries at once you can get you a battery you know and then next paycheck whatever you can get you another and you ain't got to wait and buy four and hit, get that big hit you can go ahead and add your capacity a little bit at a time so that's another benefit of, of 12 volt you know even though we're not going to hit but 85 percent efficient on 12 volt versus 48 it's still you know it's viable because you can you can piecemeal it together as you your funds become available but the the PVs, I'm going to have them in the woods. Uh, most of my open ground is covered by the main arrays for the main system, and any other flat ground is gardening, food production, animals, stuff like that. So I'm going to do north, south, and east, west vertical orientation on the bifacials. I'm going to tuck them in under some laurels, so I'll get a east, north, south, east facing array to get morning sun. Uh, of course, after midday, it'll quit, and then I'll have a west facing array. I'm going to have a south, you know, East, West running, South facing, bifacial array, all kind of cool stuff planned for that. Uh, multiple charge controllers in this system, 
multiple redundancies and we'll have EMP and EMI protection, show you how to do that uh, to protect your system a little bit better. And then my inverter, of course, this is gonna be an expensive item. I'm getting the Ames Power uh, 4,000 watt, 240 volt split phase. And the one I want is like 1,600 bucks, 1,700 bucks. I gotta save for a while to get that Ames uh, inverter because you can charge, what I want it is because you can charge it with 120, but it puts out 240 split phase. So I can use it for powering mini split air conditioners, 240 volt stuff that I've got, uh, you know, in the house, things like that. So I'm saving my pennies for all this stuff right here. You know, this will do for now, you know, since I've turned it up to 120 volts, you know, it's, it's pretty potent, good little inverter. It just, I just need split face. So, you know, this will do good for now. I'll probably use this one. Uh, once I get all the, all the components hooked up, I'll use the old top bowl, uh, to run, stuff and run loads for now uh, of course little alphas you know they're small but they're little tanks and uh more coming on the little alphas in an upcoming video too so uh yeah right there you know check me out all these different places that's right i'm on tiktok now uh i'm kind of a kind of beginner on tiktok i don't know how the kids do it so i'm learning on that so if you check me out on tiktok uh don't laugh at me i you know that tiktok stuff's new to me hey i'm I'm conditioned doing long form movies, but uh, the short ones I'm, I'm still still learning and start looking for me on Amazon reviews. I'm starting to post reviews on these products on Amazon. So, you know, I'll give you the video, tell you what's decent. So, you know, if you wanna look further into it, you know, check me out, look for me on, on products you, you use daily. So if you see me down in the, you know, the reviews on Amazon stuff, you know, it should mirror my videos, but some stuff I've not done videos on. So just, just check out, uh, you know, look for the Oscar Mountain Homestead reviews on Amazon. So I just want to give you a good update, but I'm going to do a whole step-by-step -step build uh, on everything behind me. From here back is uh, it's kind of off limits for now in the 12 volt bunker. So, you know, we'll see this. You'll see this as I work on it. So right now we're going to focus on getting back to uh, doing your battery reviews and solar equipment reviews. And I got a bunch of you know, temporary lights. I ain't even got the lights running yet. Oh, look at the dust where I was cutting that concrete board. So I got uh, just temporary lights now. I'm gonna have 12 volt DC lights in here. I'm gonna have me a little light panel here. I'm gonna get some of them Polaris Razor LED lights so I can give you some cool colors and extra bright so we can focus on what we're working on. You know, different stuff like that. It's gonna be all 12 volt, uh, you know, lights, everything cooling. And uh, that's right, that's the plans too. I'm gonna do a 12 volt uh, DC heat pump. Now, uh, of course, gotta save for all this stuff too, but the 12 volt DC heat pump, I've not decided if I'm gonna do a remote mount or how I'm gonna do that, uh, what brand I'm gonna go with, but that's in my brainstorm, that's on the agenda, is to do a DC heat pump in here uh, to keep everything conditioned, nice 70 degree temperature for the batteries and the equipment, keep everything nice and cool. So I'll be showing you that too, as time and budget allows. So yeah, um, just wanting to update you on everything. So hope you enjoyed the video and uh, you know, check out some of my other battery review videos I've done already. And if not, there'll be more coming, more solar equipment, all kind of cool stuff. So appreciate y'all watching Ocker Mountain Homestead. Hope you have a nice day. Take care and be safe.